Overhead chemical anchor installations are especially prone to the introduction of air voids during dispensing of the chemical into the drilled hole. These air voids can reduce the capacity achieved from the final anchor assembly, so every effort should be made to prevent them. One accessory for preventing air voids is the piston plug. This plug prevents air voids from being created during dispensing of the chemical. Let's compare the installation of chemicals into holes overhead, one using the nozzle, extension tube and piston plug, the other using only the nozzle and extension tube. Let's confirm the details for our drilled hole. In this particular case, we have a preformed hole with a total length of 285 millimetres depth. Coming back here, let's, let's start the assembly of the equipment. Take our injection tool, our dispensing tool, insert the cartridge. And being very careful to make sure that we have the correct mixing nozzle for the cartridge. Mixing nozzles are specific to the chemistry of the adhesive being used. We need to make sure they're matched. Just before we get working with the product, let's take a look at the safety data sheet for any pertinent information as well as any other technical information. In this particular case with this product, we have a 30 minute work time and approximately a 10 hour cure time at 20 degrees C. Now that we've got that assembly completed, we will need to mark off our extension tube to ensure that we achieve a two thirds hole fill once we inject into the drilled hole. Touching the piston plug, let's take our measurement. And what we want to capture here is the, we have a hole of 285 deep and we want to be two thirds full. So what we want to do is mark off the extension tube at 95 millimetres. Once that mark exits out through the base of the hole as we're injecting, that will demonstrate that we have two thirds of the hole now full of adhesive as required. Let's build our assembly. So firstly, we will attach the extension tube to the nozzle. And secure the piston plug to the extension tube. Now prior to injecting the chemical into the drilled hole, we will eject, dispense a small amount of material as per the instructions to ensure that the two components mix correctly. You can see here the two components coming down through the mixing element in the nozzle. So we have a mix of the resin and the hardener coming through. And as you can see, the color will start to blend as we run it out onto the board. and we should quickly see a very uniformly blended colour of material in that red colour, indicating correct mix between the resin and hardener components. And let's take a look at the use of the piston plug in preventing air voids. Piston plug should travel right to the top of the hole and what we'll now do is inject the chemical and allow the force of the injected material to push the piston plug out under its own force. Don't pull on the cartridge, support it gently and allow it to move under its own action. And there we have it. 
hole, we've, we see our mark, the hole is now two thirds full. We can remove the injection assembly. And there's our hole. The adhesive has been injected. And as can be seen in the column of material, no air voids throughout the entire length of the injection. So now let's look at injecting without the use of the piston plug. Again, as per the piston plug use, we will bottom the nozzle into the hole. And now as we inject, it will literally be just by feel that we withdraw the nozzle as we inject material. And there's our marker. Withdrawing the assembly. Now, let's take a look at our result. As we can see, the column is significantly voided with air. So two problems will occur. One is we have substantially less adhesive in the hole than is desired. And secondly, the amount of air voids there will ensure that we don't have bond to the whole wall here, our capacity is going to be substantially reduced accordingly. That's a very good example of why piston plugs are so valuable for overhead installations.